would describe the Ogden Gay Fellows Program as a leadership development program. Uh, it's uh, endowed by the Lilly Institute, which is generously given uh, to put this program together. It's a cohort model, which uh, 15 pastors from New England, uh, they get together every few months for a three-day retreat uh, with a trip to China in the middle of that. And uh, the retreats are, are, are fantastic. It gives us an opportunity to uh, really what I would call to be a professional learning community with, with fellow peers. Uh, we read a book, engage that together uh, in preparation for each retreat, and uh, really listen to speakers and uh, field trips to places like Harvard and MIT that most of, at least myself, I wouldn't get to otherwise. So those have been incredible experiences that have uh, influenced me personally, spiritually, uh, and definitely my uh, local parish church ministry. When I think of how the Akinge Fellows Program has changed the way I do ministry, I think what comes to mind first and foremost is just the idea that uh, there are so many facets of life that our people are encountering that I wasn't really even thinking about. So the fact that our people are engaged in business, the fact that our people are engaged in the community arts, the fact that our people are engaged in education, the fact that they're engaged in you know, all these different arenas of life that as a pastor I just wasn't even thinking about consciously. Sure, they would come up in preaching, they'd come up in pastoral counseling, but I didn't have any kind of systematic way or intentional way of thinking about these things and then taking ideas and bouncing them off other pastors and other leaders in the community to say, how can I actually bring this to bear for the people in my church? And I don't know about you, but one of the things that I've noticed is, apart from the specific uh, application of things that we've learned, whenever I come home from one of these retreats, I'm always more energized. I've been dealing with lots of great ideas, interacting with lots of wonderful people. I feel refreshed because I've had a bit of a break. So I come home with, uh, you know, more of a high energy sermon or, you know, the, the next few weeks I, I've just invigorated more because I've had this opportunity to, to step back from the daily life of pastoring and actually, uh, you know, just really engage with the types of ideas that I wouldn't have had the opportunity or wouldn't have even thought about engaging on my own. So I think that's a huge benefit to our churches as well. Yeah, I would say the Ockham Gate Fellows Program has really challenged me in two areas. Uh, I minister in a very isolated context, and so it has uh, prompted me to expand my own world. Uh, the trip to China forced me to do that, and I realized how important it is to interact and dialogue with people of different backgrounds, different ethnicities, uh, different uh, just different mindsets. And so, and also it has really challenged me to dig into my own community deeper, to understand who's there and why they're there, what they do, and how the church can interact with the local community. And I do remember that when we were in China, I was, I was thinking that apart from my wife and my kids, that these are the most enjoyable traveling companions I've ever had. Because it's a, you know, here we are, a bunch of pastors, a bunch of ministers who are having, you know, good, clean, but, you know, really uh, exciting experiences. We have an understanding of each other's vocations. We have an understanding of each other's family lives. And we're able to talk about all sorts of things. So we had discussions about raising kids about marriages, we had discussions about theology, we had discussions about church practice, we had discussions about denominations, but then interspersed in all of this is just a lot of enjoyable joking and laughing and playing around and having a lot of fun doing what amounts to real serious work, but it didn't feel like work at all when you're doing it. 